Hi guys, this is Joy from Obsessed with Scrapbooking and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Close to My Heart Artfully Scent Cricut cartridge with the Design Space software. Just so you know, this Design Space software only works with a new Cricut Explorer machine. So if you have a different Cricut machine, this isn't going to be the video for you. <laughs> so just FYI. Now I've had a lot of questions about how to figure out the sizing. So let's get started with that. I'm going to go over here to insert images and um, let me go back here. <laughs> I went to my image sets, I typed in artfully sent and I came up with this and here's my artfully sent cartridge. I click on that and here come my images. I just wanted to show you guys that because I had already done that. This is like take three of this video. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my, right? <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> I'm so easily amused. I don't know. <laughs> I know I'm kind of silly. All right, now let's take a look at this cartridge. There are a number of different card styles on here. These cards right here are pocket cards and they go in the different pockets. They can also be Project Life cards. You can do a lot of things with these cards. Very cute. These next cards are swing cards. They're always the teal cards. Let's take a look at these swing cards. I'm gonna scroll down real quick to make sure they work just the way I wanna tell you how they work. And they do, <laughs> yay! Okay, let's pull one of these swing cards up. How about this bunny rabbit Easter one? Okay, and we're gonna insert that. First thing we need to do is go to the edit and we're gonna to have to resize this. Now, when I look in my handbook for the swing card, I, it shows me to size it at seven inches and that works perfectly. Seven inches high and then it's going to be 10 inches wide so that actually gives you a seven inch by five inch card when you fold it. So all these swing cards just have to be sized at seven inches. Easy peasy, right? That's one of the easiest ones. <laughs> okay, now and that's all these teal color cards. So we're going to delete this and go back to insert images and scroll down. So all these guys are seven inches, just like it says in the handbook. Okay, and now we come to the pop-up cards. Okay, and there's two styles of pop-up cards. There's the vertical style, and then this is the horizontal style. So let's take a look at the vertical style first. Let's insert that. This is like a cake with an owl on it. He comes in again at the smaller size. And we're going to change Mr. Cake with the Owl in it to height of 7 inches. That's going to give us a height of 7 inches. And then look at this width right here. The width is just about 10, so that's going to give you a 5 by 7 card, right? Awesome. Okay, and these are the vertical pop-up cards. Now let's pull up our horizontal cards. This is where it takes a turn, you guys. <laughs> I hate to say it. It takes a bad turn here. It doesn't really take a bad turn. You just have to know this is going to happen. We're going to pull up this joy card. Okay, and we're going to resize this. Now, in the handbook, when I look at this kind of card, it wants me to size this at, let's find it, um, four Oh, I'm sorry, five inches, but let's see what happens when I size it at five inches. <sighs> this isn't good because what I'm going to get is a really small card. It's going to be five inches by three and a half, and that really turns into be two and a half by three and a half when you fold it. That's no bueno, right? No good. No good. So best thing to do here, put my height at 10 inches. When I put my height at 10 inches, I end up with a 10 by 7 inch card, which is just what I want. Perfect, right? Or I mean, I'm, I said a 10 by 7, but I really mean a 5 by 7 because remember we fold this in half. So all these horizontal cards, you want to set them at 10 inches. Now you may ask me, Joy, how do you know that you're supposed to do this? Well, I know that almost every card on here is supposed to come out at 5 by 7. So since I have that secret knowledge, if you will, that's how I know how to figure this out. They're every one of them except for one, and I'll be going over that one. It's supposed to come out at five by seven. So that's how I kind of figured that out. Okay, so let's move on. Moving on. So we've handled our horizontal and our vertical pop-up cards. Now we're going to scroll down some more. Fortunately, they're all grouped together. And they're all these um, like light pink cards. And now... 
the system's thinking. And now we get to these hot pink cards. And these hot pink cards, I want to say they're all vertical. Let's scroll and make sure I'm telling the truth here. I believe I am, but let's take a look. Let's pull up this butterfly one in the meantime. Yeah, they're all vertical. So what this means, here's my, my butterfly. So cute, right? I'm going to size that. In the book, it tells me to size it at 7 inches. And yay, that works because look, I've got 7 inches high by 10 inches wide, which is really a 7 by 5, you know, 5 by 7 card. Okay, easy peasy. That's the hot pink cards. Size it at height of 7. Okay, moving on. I'm trying to do this fast because it's not, you know, the most super exciting thing you ever saw. <laughs> okay, maybe if you're nice, you might tell me that, but I don't know. These are the pocket cards. They, they're really good for putting like gift cards in and things like that. So let's pull up this cupcake sleeve one. In the book, it says to size this at six inches. So let's size this at six inches and see what happens. When I size it at a height of six inches, I get a width of 8.12, approximately eight. So I'm going to get a four by six um, little sleeve here, which is perfect. That's what they want you to size it at. Now, I do want to tell you guys you aren't constrained by this. If you want this larger, will you just pull it out and go to it? <laughs> you know what I mean? You just drag the handles. You can change the height, the whole thing. You do not have to be constrained by what they say here, but that is what they have recommended you to do. Okay, so just know you're always free to do what you want, but if you want to cut it as they intended, then you would do it like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and that is just as is written in the book, six inches. No, no funny business there. Not a bit of funny business. Now you can see here that this is supposed to have a card inside it, right? There's supposed to be a card that slides in here. And we don't see a card, do we? Let's cover where we find our card. Back up at the tippity top. <gasps> here are our cards. Now, I don't know why they're these colors. <laughs> I don't know, but this four by six one would be the one you want to insert into your pocket card. Now I look at this and I go, oh man, this isn't the right, why is nothing the right size? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now we're just, seriously, we're going to size this at four, whoops, not five, four, and then it's four by six. I'm going to rotate it so you can see if it's going to slidey slide. Come on. Okay. And then, um, oh, wow, and it's too big. Ah! <laughs> okay, let's try to size this. We're going to now size this at a height of three. Oh, that's not the right size either. Okay, how about a height of 3.5? Well, that'll be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when you want to go ahead and do this, it's recommended in the book at four inches, and some of that's for Project Life. Um, in this case, to go ahead and put it in this pocket card, you would want to size it at three and a half. Okay, so there would be your insert. That's not easy peasy, but just FYI, there you go. And again, very simple to... You could always just pull this up and size it, pulling the handles and see what you think or whatnot. All right, let's move on. Okay, we're gonna scroll back down to our pocket cards. We just did those. Okay, pocket, 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 pocket. And then we only have a couple more to go through. Not too many, don't freak out. <laughs> it's thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, now here's Mr. Tricky. <laughs> These are the tricky ones. These purple ones. Oh, they like to give us fits, don't they? So let's take a look at these purple ones. The vast majority of them are horizontal. So let's pull one of these up. This is the bats. I don't want to look at bats. Okay, that's not going to work. I don't want to look at jack-o'-lanterns. I like ho-ho-ho, though. Always a fan of ho-ho-ho. Okay, so here comes ho-ho-ho. Now, in the book, it says to size this at four and a quarter. I'm going to tell you right now, four and a quarter is not the right size. You need to size this at eight and a half. When I size it at eight and a half, I get a perfect eight, you know, five and a half by four and a quarter, because remember, we're going to fold it horizontally, so it's eight and a half divided by two. Did that go kind of fast? I know it kind of did. 
Okay, remember this <laughs> for the purple cards that are horizontal. Here, the, the height is going to be eight and a half. That's all you need to know. Height's going to be eight and a half. And you're set. Now, there are a few cards, so let's get rid of this. There's a few of these purple cards, just a few that are not horizontal, but instead are vertical. Here's one of them. Okay. When you have the vertical one and you want to make a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card, you are going to size this vertical one at 5.5. Then you get the 5.5 and the width is eight and a half basically. So that's going to be four and a quarter this way and five and a half this way. Okay, so on those, you on these vertical purple, you would size it at five and a half. Now I'm looking through my book to try to see if they tell you that, but it, there's like two of these that look like this. So I'm having trouble finding it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm so sorry, I am not better prepared, but there you go. Okay, come on. Oh, here's one. Now, in the book, conveniently, it does tell you the correct size, which is five and a half on these vertical ones. So you won't have to worry about this so much. Okie dokie, moving onward. Onward, onward, not too many more. Here are our friends, the yellow ones. Now, on these, um, let's do, what does this one say? Oh, this angel's beautiful. Okay, let's do the angel one. Now, on our angel one, in the book, it tells me to size this at seven inches. I size it at seven inches, that's perfect. I'm gonna get seven inches, a five by seven card, essentially, seven inches by 10 which is what I want. So size it at seven inches, these vertical yellow, seven inches. Okay, now we've got a couple of these that are horizontal. Let's pull these up and take a, oops, I gotta get them in there. Take a peek here. Okay, this says warm winter wishes. Now on these horizontal ones, I wanna, make, I wanna see what they tell us first. They tell us to size it at five inches. When I do that, I'm gonna get the wrong size. I'm pretty darn sure. Yep, gonna get the wrong size. I need to size this at 10 inches. Why is that? So I get the five by seven card again. <laughs> so just keeping in what they wanted the proportions to be. So on the, ver on the horizontal yellow cards, you need to have a height of 10 inches. Horizontal yellow height 10 inches, okay? So you're getting the hang of this, right? Because it's basically, how do I make that into a five by seven card? Oh, except for the purple ones, which are um, four and a quarter by five and a half. And I think that is everything. Now, part two that people wondered about was, wait, let me make sure. Oh, then we have our envelopes. Dear, go dear Lord. Okay, so the envelopes. I'm just gonna tell you the secret. For the five by seven ones, I found it that you should set it at <clears throat> 11 and a half. And for the four and a quarter, I found that you should set it at, um, well, they call it four by six, that you should set it at 10 and a half. So or really 10 and a quarter, 10 and a quarter to 10 and a half. So that's, uh, that's that story right there. You're probably going, how do you know that? Well, I tried it a lot. <laughs> I tried it a whole lot and the sizing in here doesn't tell you the right sizes. So I just tried it lots of ways and then that's what I found out. <laughs> okay, so just go with it. <laughs> and then finally, we've got our Project Life cards, which are sized in here correctly to fit in the slots for Project Life. And they tell you either six or they tell you three. And then those match the cards up at the very tippy top that we were using to put in the pocket cards. Remember our friends up here, these two? That matches them and it'll say on here this one says three by four and this one says four by six and those are cut as they say in the book so this would be cut at height of three and this would be cut at height of four all right now moving on the last question i get from people is for instance let's take one of these pop-up cards let's take this um i think this love bug's so cute and we're going to insert that now we're going to size him correctly what size do we think he should be? I think he should be 10 inches. Let's see. And he should. Yay. Okay. <laughs> it 
it's a miracle. No, so people say to me, you know, how do I get these individual elements? Let's say I just want to cut a car. I don't even, because I'm going to put a car on the front of the front of the card also. Okay, there are a number of ways you can do this. You can highlight this car here. Whoops. Okay, let's shut that because I don't want to change the color. I can highlight the card here. Okay, I can, <laughs> excuse me. First, I'm going to ungroup it. There are two ways to ungroup. One is by right clicking, and you can see ungroup. The other is go to the bottom of the layers box and click on ungroup. When I ungroup, now all these pieces aren't stuck together. I can wiggle them all over the screen wherever I want. Okay, what this also means is I can make duplicates of things. An easy way to duplicate the car is to highlight the car here and highlight <clears throat> and then hold down the command button and highlight its backing. So you see I, I clicked on both and then just click duplicate. And here's a whole nother car comes up. So if you want to put that on the front, you can put it on the front. You're set to go. So that's pretty easy. That's pretty easy. Same thing with this love bug. Now that I've ungrouped, the whole thing can move around. And I can cut just that. I could, um, or I could <clears throat> add some more to the front. You know, whatever I wanted to do. Let's say I wanted to have it on the front. Oops, I'm sorry, it's really ungrouped, so now all the pieces are coming apart. I could just do whatever I wanted, okay? So, now you might say to me, Joy, how do I just cut, I just wanna cut this love bug. What's the easiest way to do that? To me, the easiest way is to close all these eyeballs over here in the layers, because it's pretty easy to close them. If, especially if you're planning to cut this whole card anyway, that's pretty easy. If you weren't going to cut this whole card anyway, and you just want to get rid of the card, you can just start clicking on each element and hitting the delete button. Goes away, goes away, bye bye, adios. There may be a faster way. I think you can select all, but you kind of don't want to select all because then you're going to lose your love bug, which you don't want to lose, right? So there you go. Hopefully this video has cleared up a lot of questions you've had, and hopefully I didn't go too fast. <laughs> All right, I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much. <laughs> Bye.